Welcome love from love, hope from hope, and peace from our Prince thereof. Welcome to his last testament, Isa Yeshua Jesus. And it comes to you by the Lord's foretold covenant messenger of Malachi 3, preparing his way by his own word to all people, him saying, I am your God. You are my people. I have forgiven your iniquity, and I will never remember it. Beginning the golden age by removing Satan, Iblis, Diablo, as it was foretold for the latter days in Revelation 12 and Daniel 12.1. And since that holy word now given unto mankind, it was never given until the latter days, Jeremiah 31.1 says so. And since this holy word proves God's mercy over every one of love eternally, the canons of the Tanakh, the Bible, and the Quran must open as Acts 3.21 confirms. For our Messiah cannot return until his everlasting eternal covenant of Jeremiah 31 uh, comes forth being restored. Christ said that uh, in Acts that he is kept in reserve in heaven until that restoration. What restoration would he be talking about? Surely Elijah would come forth and restore all things Matthew 17 11 many uh, half half truths have misled mankind and God's mystery hid uh, hid that so he now commands his beloved to obey his great restoration and begins sharing this channel like your love uh, and your life depends upon it his blood was shed before the foundation of the earth for all, lest any man boast. And it is time to restore the truth of love unending. And as the faithful leave the shores for the treasure found only in the deep, they will realize that neither has our beloved who is the blessed and the adored, our carpenter of the ages, who demands his restoration. Neither did he promise days without pain, laughter without sorrow, nor sun without rain, for he raises his standard strength for now, as the sun of righteousness arises with healing under his wings to begin his age of the lion and the lamb and the understanding of love being all and all. And so it's time for his comfort for tears and his words most, most glorious light of love for his way, for the way of the roaring lion of Zion who roars as softly as a little itty bitty kitty's teeny weeny whispering little tiny purr. For it's not by power nor by my but by the word of love and it's it's always by love that everything shall happen so let all people hearken unto the word of love and the word of god predicts that brotherly love among all of those of all religions shall last until the sands of death Death Valley's desert grows cold, and this is a guarantee. This world will not be divided any longer by religion and hatred thereof. For the blessed good news is that there is absolutely no condemnation over anyone walking with love, as Romans 8, 1 says. But know that the rejection of God's restoration of Matthew 17, 11, within this word of his love 
of the obsolescence of all former faith, as Hebrews 8 said would happen, that uh, they will bring forth a curse of death upon them, as Malachi 4, 6 has promised, unto all spiritual antichrist, choosing to embrace ignorance. People think that ignorance is bliss, but God's people are destroyed for their stupid lack of knowledge. And the Lord says in Malachi 3, 1, My word said, Behold, the messenger of my covenant shall come to prepare the way before me. For only a book written ahead of its time by my word's inspiration could cut time short as I foretold in Matthew 24, 22. Only Romans 11, 27's covenant alone could save Israel and stop Earth's nuclear oblivion, says the Lord. And that majesty of majesty stands beautifully upon the great white cloud of Matthew 24, the great white cloud of Revelation 14, for the second coming of his word. And for the Lord says, my word now brings that salvation promise of Romans to lead all people to my kingdom age peace. This is the latter day mountain uh, from which the veil would be removed from off all nations of earth, Isaiah 25. That saves earth from the destruction of Isaiah 24. And for upon this latter day mountain, it is covered with food, just as Isaiah 25 said it would. And it is written that God says, I will, rebu re will remove my rebuke off all peoples in the end times. And that is what he is saying now with his message of Malachi, saying, I am your God. You are my people. I have forgiven your iniquity, and I will never remember it again. And so in this hour, uh, for this cause, people must now understand that if the ancients didn't have the same chance, of the exact same chance of finding eternal life as my church, I would have been a respecter of men. And uh, the Bible, the whole Bible would be a lie. My prophet Cahill Gabran wrote of my message, uh, Daniel's message saying the secrets of the eons will be disclosed to one man in but a moment of a moment and Adam and Eve had no belly button. <laughs>